Hope this what helps. What we found in the treatment of AIDS is this. Two things we have to do simultaneously. One of them is to remove the cause of the presence of the mucus, which there is something in the intestines that need to be removed. Simultaneously, we have to nourish the body back to health, which requires two substances. It's a compound of calcium, and the other is iron. But we, when we talk about iron, we have to be very careful. Because there are two forms of iron. One that is ferrosulfate. That iron will cause you to bind and prevent you from using the toilet. But the other iron is a vegetable iron. One that is obtained from plants, such as the sarsaparilla, the burdock, the yellow dock such as the, uh, the one that we get from Honduras, the guaco, the contribu, the hombre grande. All these herbs are heavily laden with iron. Upon giving this to the patient, you will see that the condition will be changing immediately. One patient was reversed in 17 days. Alex Suarez in Honduras. And, what, and was the AIDS at a level of um, almost dying? What they call HIV positive, he was at Carposi sarcoma. So you know you're on your way out. You see, again, when I make the statement that I cure AIDS, it is impossible, virtually impossible, to believe that the statement is correct and true. Two, two reasons. First reason, the physician claims that there is no cure for AIDS. Yes. But why should we take the word of the physician? What disease have we cured in 500 years? using inorganic and carcinogenic chemicals. He has not cured anyone. So when he tells us that there is no cure for AIDS, well, what's new? So you cured AIDS by cleaning the body?